We're live in Gehenna, Texas at the magnificent H-E-L-N-L Stadium. Built by zillionaire owner, GM, and coach Scary Clones. He describes it as a Roman Coliseum theme park, slaughterhouse, art museum, and secret bordello all in one. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No The Philadelphia Eagles go up against the Malice Hellboys. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, go game up, man. I can't. Get on out there. Get on out Get on out Get on Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Welcome to another game day here on the MFL Network. Grim Blitzrow along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan. How you doing? Great city, isn't it, Bricks? Fantastic city. My motel even has free color TV. Oh, that's and nice. an ice machine that works. Wow. That was police tape blocking the bathroom because of the photographers in there. But other than that, no complaints. They, they give you free jelly at breakfast, too. Sounds like a real winner. And it's first and ten. really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. They go to a speed dirty brick. He's so fast he watches 60 minutes and 60 seconds. Second down and a lot. Throw, good catch, but not quite good enough at nine yards. Third and two. And the quarterback is down. Zoom in on his face. I want to see if the little bastard's crying. If they don't pick it up here, they are giving a gift to the defense. And the defense won that one handily. The offense fails on fourth down and turns the ball over. <laughs> and it's first and ten. for a first down. And it's first and ten. Wow, he took like a thousand volts of shock there. They did that to my Aunt Lizzie because she thought she was the reincarnation of Lizzie Borden the Axe Murderer. Did the shock treatment work? Well, after she killed four the doctors and zapped her, again so yeah I guess it worked for her second down and long oh and did he just put on a display there touchdown Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes a 
anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! And it's first and ten. four-yard gain. Second down and six. Oh, look at this guy break tackle. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. First and ten. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Second down and ten. Right rage ignites that deep down violent rage and makes when the defense calls thunderclap the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go? Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. You know, the league used to flag this for excessive celebration. You know, refs really don't want to get too close to the rabid, roided out monsters. And don't even get me started on the werewolf. <laughs> don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. First down and one. Like a greased turkey. <laughs> <laughs> 
You know, that should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, look at that freak go! He's unstoppable! And he finds open space, he's running toward the end zone! Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch! Man, he's running like a bull on steroids! That'll be a first down! And it's first and ten. Oh, that was a big hit! Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chimp wearing a wig. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. He's running out of gas now. He's at the 20, and that was a huge run right there. Hey, speaking of huge runs, Bricks, why don't you put a cork in that gravy mick of yours, huh? Hey, he's I'm dying up here. And it's first and ten. Snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. First down and five. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Second and three. The defender says, I don't think so. Third down and three. Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond.
And it's first and ten. Oh, and that quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, this berserk, Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. It's first and ten. And he rumbles for nine on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. Mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for it. You know what? Never mind. And we're at the two-minute warning. I gotta pee. And it's first and ten. It's about a three-yard pickup. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blast for me! Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs! <laughs> and the offense quickly calls their second time out. That's how you do it. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my off. And that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. Second down in a lot. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. And he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. Yeah, it's almost poetic, man. Like a high. <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And it's 
First and ten. A pickup of about three on that play. They stunt the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. And it's first and ten. Catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of that constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling them, time up. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from top. You gotta be fucking kidding me. If that's a penalty, they should come up here and penalize us, too. Hey. Don't give these reps any ideas, you idiot. Grim, like the stash. On it. And this is a first and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down in a mile. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh boy, where we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? I'm gonna go to a strip tea show, where we going? Hey, why don't you sell down, just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. Picked up a lot of real estate in a hurry. Give him 10 yards right there. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. And it's first and 10. Sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Second down, seven. The quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the defense. And that defender just got cut in half. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Nice run for five yards.
second down and five. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First down and one. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Yeah, man, I was going to hit him now. You know what happened? Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. Grim, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. It's two yard run before he stopped. And that'll be second and eight to go. target more often and it's first and ten nicely done for a first down and it's first and ten Roid Rage, how do you like your brains? Scrambled or fried? One Roid Rage breakfast special coming up. And he bursts into the end zone for the score. What a run! Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a... If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. Second and three. Man, what a 
high hit that was. First down and six. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. And uh, normally I don't advocate for changing the station, but for the sake of your eternal soul, I'd understand if you want to cut away during this ritualistic dance. Uh, Grim, the, uh, the crowd started chanting. Why, uh, yes, uh, <laughs> yes, they did. We're, we're going to go ahead and lock the announcer's booth until he's done dancing. right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Oh, nice hit. an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe if you don't kill this ref with the attack ref dirty trick you're gonna lose pal you kind of deserve it if you're this dance grim they're back up here on first and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref they say we're mad as hell and not gonna take it anymore First down and forever. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. Second down and six. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. No, well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Third and four. Give this guy a few. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. First down and three. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And that'll bring up second and one. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. And that'll bring up third and one. Whoa, and he laterals the ball to the player behind him. Oh, with the brain scrambler. The offense is lining up to go for it on fourth down. And the defense is looking for a stop or a death. 
Either will work, but they prefer the kill. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Hey. Well, little chip shot here, extra point. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps offside to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. Now this guy runs angry and runs hard. First down. And it's first and ten. And the defense calls the thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's got to hurt. Let him make the hit on your corpse stand straight up. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grin. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. First and eight to go. Second down and more than the QB would like. A brutal hit on collision. Not only does he drop the ball, but someone's going to be taking a long nap after that hit. Third down and, well, good luck. for a touchdown. You know, his great-grandfather was in that movie, Alien 17. Where is Ripley when you need her to bust out the big guns? Man, he's just leaving one big skid mark out there. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> well, 
When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. And it's first and ten. This is your brain, and this is your brain. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. First and ten. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Second down and ten. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Hey, man, see that? That's right, you can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. wants to speed things up so it signals a hurry up. Ah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called that rabbit sex. I took it as a compliment. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and they take their first time out. Ah, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? He is fighting for every yard. Touchdown! And this werewolf is from London, I believe, signed in the offseason. Yeah, I saw him at Trader Dick's hotel bar the other night. His hair was perfect. Better watch out. He'll rip your lungs out, Bricks. And here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. And we are all tied up and we're going to overtime. Go ahead and cancel that quality time with the family and continue to stream at your television. This is going to be great.
Breaks overtime is a war with some basic rules. The first touchdown wins the game, but if the team that receives the kickoff gets a field goal, then the other team is allowed a possession too. After that, whomever scores wins. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. The receiver makes a grab for five yards. Second down and five. He runs it for three. Third and two. the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. Oh, that's a relief, because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Oh, uh, you're telling me. And that play went nowhere fast. No game. Second down and ten. First and ten. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! The Hellboys are defeated today. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...